Hey, it's Amber Stone with Hot 1079, and I am in downtown Indy today because I get to go backstage and hang out with 21 Pilots. So let's go check it out. Bankers Field House. It's gonna be a crazy sold out show. People are already lined up, and it's hours away from the concert, so this is really exciting. But sold out show tonight. You guys excited to see that? Yeah. Is this your first time? Yeah. Yeah? So you're probably really pumped. Do you live here in Indy, or do you yeah. travel far? I live here from. So you came all the way from Ohio. Nice. Well, enjoy the show. Hopefully, you guys have a good time. Thank you. Inside Banker's Life for the 21 Pilots sold out show. What is your name? My I'm name's... really curious about you. My name's Pete. Pete? Okay, well, yeah, we'll... my name's Pete. Okay, Pete, you traveled probably the farthest mm -hmm. out of most people that are here tonight. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from a city in Northern Ireland called Belfast. Okay, nice. Yeah. So, what made you come to the United States to see 21 Pilots? Um, they're my favorite band. Um, they're kind of my passion right now. So, I'm sort of dedicating about a year of my life to just following them around the world to kind of just just travel and meet my friends and yeah. That's awesome. So what about their music do you really connect to? Um, I guess it's like their lyrics. Um, the first time I listened to them, the first song I listened to, the lyrics in it sort of hit me at a time where I was going through like personal struggles in my life and the song really helped me and that's really the bottom line. Like They, they help a lot of people and they... Um, yeah, they're a good band. Yeah. And what other cities have you gone to see them in? Oh wow! So I flew to Boston first, nice. and then I flew to Colorado to see them at Red Rocks in uh, Morrison. Then I flew to Vegas. Nice. Um, then I drove to LA. Then I went to uh, San Diego, um, and then I flew here to Indianapolis. Awesome! And if you don't and, um, mind me asking, how old are you? I'm 21. 21, so what a cool experience at 21. <laughs> yeah, awesome. actually, when I was in Vegas, I got this tattoo. Oh, nice. So, uh, when I was in Vegas, it was my 21st show. So, Very I got a tattoo cool. for 21, and I'm 21 years old, so awesome. that works, yeah. Backstage, hanging out with 21 Pilots, Josh and Tyler. Recently, I've been seeing a lot of 21 Pilots and Soaring in the same sentence. How does that make you guys feel being on this amazing tour? You know, it's been very successful. You have passionate fans. I mean, what are you guys going through right now? Um, specifically addressing the Soaring word, um, I feel like they could be a lot more creative. There's always like 21 Pilots land smoothly in <laughs> blank city or they're soar high. and um, you know, planes do a lot of other things, you know, other than just soar and land. You know, sometimes they just relax and chill for a while, and um, there's a lot of good food on some planes, you know, depending on where you're sitting. And so we'd like them to be a little more creative with their wordplay. I feel like 21 Pilots, you know, serves up a, you know, a mediocre meal for the fans. Me a musical meal. A musical meal, I like that. But when I was uh, when I when I was younger, mm -hmm. I used to be very fascinated with the the, blue, mm -hmm. uh, the, the like stunt planes, mm -hmm. and those don't soar. They like <laughs> do flips and stuff, mm -hmm. and they like you know do all sorts of crazy like. But stuff they have great great meals on that oh, on that yeah, flight. Yeah. That's what I that's what I heard. I saw the Blue Angel uh, IMAX. Yeah. Uh, actually, there was a kid that threw up. In the uh, in the IMAX movie at, at the for the Blue Angels. Yeah. Right uh, right behind it was two rows behind me, so if you would have been right behind me with what I call it. That's pretty nasty. Yeah. Hmm. No, I mean meditation is kind of a I don't know, I know some, it works for some people. I was talking to the guys in Chef Special, a band that plays before us on this tour, and they're like, yeah, we went out by the water and meditated, and mm -hmm. I was like, well, I don't know, I don't really understand that. And so we really just, um, we, do, uh, we do a lot of uh, deadlifting, um, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, and, and well, like the butterfly, you know, when you kind of like, like this, mm -hmm. you know, with the weight. Mm -hmm. So... I like to believe that, you know, that's a form of my muscles meditating on how big they're getting. Yeah. Are you a squat or two? Uh, yes. He has a house, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I, I have, good to have a home. Yeah, but, you know, most of the time I, uh, I, I try to find a, a random corner of, a, of an underpass. Well, tell them what we were just talking about the other day. Uh, morning. well... We we had a we had an idea. Yeah. Um, Where were we? We were uh, we we're swimming. Yeah, we were swimming mm -hmm. in the pool, 
And we were like, it'd be really cool to collaborate with uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, Here he has a really good voice. No, it's uh, he's actually really good at uh, the, the acoustic guitar. Oh, my bad. It's okay. It's a common. I have a good voice too, but that's not that's not what we were after in the moment. More of his guitar skills. We got Rita got a singer. Yeah. So we're, we're good on that. Um, but Cuba Gooding Jr. would be great. Um, yeah. Robert Downey, Downing Jr. Yeah. All the all the junior. Before you add him to your group, well, no, Robert Downey is a different. He's a, he's a Canadian actor, more well known for his um, uh, like low low budget films. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we we got a long list, but we can't really like expose. We at this point now, we don't want them seeing this interview and like getting their hopes. Ireland. I hope they had a, you know, I hope they soared and they landed and, I mean, they're why we're doing this, so. Um, it's hard to even wrap your mind around, you know, how, how big this world is and, and how music is kind of this language that that everyone speaks for some reason. And so, um, to find ourselves in a situation where we get to interact with people all over the world is, uh, it's really humbling and a, a little overwhelming at sometimes, but okay. um, we realize that you know it's it's worth it if we're if we're impacting anyone's life, even even if it's just one person mm-hmm. from Ireland. So Thank have you. a good show tonight. Yes. <laughs> Amberstone with Howard Seven Nine.